Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vaughnster Vlog and today I am over here in my chicken enclosure uh, to show you all how I do my composting system, uh, which is horribly sloppy and has tons of rooms for improvement, um, but such is the way of things uh, here at our little urban homestead. Um, the tools, more or less, that I'll be using, uh, I have a wheelbarrow, a sift tray, which is basically half inch hardware cloth, like the welded hardware cloth, uh, done up with some like two by fours and then like just some thin strips of wood, uh, holding that wire on there, just all nailed together. Um, and then a little hand cloth, a pitchfork and a dirt rake. So I mow my grass sometimes. Um, and whenever I do, I'll dump the grass clippings here just in the center of this. You can see I've got a 10 by 10 easy up with some 10 by 20 sheet, like uh, shade cloths over it. This is just to kind of protect my chickens during the heat of summer. Um, I haven't had it up in the winter yet, but I, it does help to keep like hawks off and stuff. Though if I lived out in the country the way I used to, I would not have put very much stock into this. I would have done like hog panels or something much more sturdy to kind of hold up this um, this shade cloth. So that being said though, um, whenever I mow you can see there's all kinds of just rubbish mixed in here, chopped up plastic bags, um, we get a lot of trash blown into like into the alley bed um, and so it's just super chopped up and so I'm going to go through toss it into a bit of time lapse and um sorry uh toss it into a bit of time lapse and show how I get this raked up because this has been it's only been like three or four days since I raked this up last we've been super busy around the house so let me go ahead and get started on that and then show you what my next step is So just as quick and easy as that, I've gotten it all more or less swept, or raked rather, into the center. And now what I'm going to do is I have yesterday's, um, this may actually have been from the last two days, depending on how many bananas are in there, um, compost bin from inside the house. And I compost our paper towels, like anything, even if it's technically rubbish um, or trash, if it will decompose, I'd rather it be in my compost heap taking a little longer to break down than in like a landfill or something. Um, so I'm just going to put this kind of into the center of our pile and then I'm going to be using my pitchfork to scrape off like the top couple of layers of composted, you know, broken down compost as well as topsoil. Uh, on top of that, so Okay, so it's kind of sweaty work, but totally worth it. And you can see here, now it is all just kind of piled up into the middle. If I had been, if I had cleaned out my uh, coop or um, like the dropping trays or anything like that, any other high nitrogen gonna heat it up quick uh, additives, I would go ahead and have put it in there before mounting the soil on. Um, and over the next couple of days, that will actually start to break down. The chickens will just scratch it everywhere again. Um, but it gives them something to do when they're confined to the enclosure. Because right now, I've got the door open and they're out and about in the yard just wreaking havoc. So they're going to ignore it until they're bored in their enclosure when we're away from the house and I can't like keep an eye on them. Um, but hmm, 
I'm always open to suggestions if you guys are like, hey, what if you tried this? Um, so be sure to leave that down in the comments. Um, but and now I'm going to show you kind of how I sift the completed compost, the stuff that's kind of scraped off over here. Sorry, messing with my tripod. The stuff that's scraped off over here to the side. Um, I'm going to show you how I get that to where it is usable from being on the ground. So here you can see, I've scooped, I mean, the sticks, the trash, the rocks, everything. I toss my sticks over in my hoogle culture pile, that's actually underneath one of my rabbit cages. And then I'm just going to come through, you could use just a, um, you know, hand shovel or something, or a gloved hand, really. And I just start kind of stirring it around. breaking up the quads and this effectively keeps out any food chunks, dirt, or not dirt, um, rocks and rubbish that I don't want to just put back into my flower beds as well as clumps of plant roots. to see it's just more and more as I get the desirable material into the wheelbarrow I'm left with we've got some wood chips some plastic some plant roots you know things that uh, need a little bit longer to break down or just need I've got a uh, well a gravel driveway for one that'll toss a lot of the smaller rocks into in some little rock towers that actually use this plant stands where it's more wire like this done in a cylinder and I just pile uh, rocks that aren't really suitable for the driveway into and I use those plant stands. But yeah, and so I'll go through it can be, yeah, like that's a, I don't even know what that is. Um, This also gives me a great opportunity to remove any uh, grubs that I may not want, you know, from like Japanese beetles or June bugs, and feed those to the chickens. Breaking up the frogs. And so now I will go through and just hand pick out the trash. Which can be a little bit tedious, but like some broken glass. <sighs> Stuff that I'm just honestly not even entirely certain how it got into the yard in the first place. But yeah, I'll go ahead and pick out all the trash. And then I've got a bin for that. And then I put the rest of this, I'll take the big rocks out, and honestly, even with just the little rocks, I'll just put it back in. It gives some, I don't know, I'm not too worried about it, <laughs> honestly. So, if I weren't doing a video, I'd be a little bit more meticulous about handpicking all the rocks and stuff out, but I'm not too worried about it today. So here we have, I mean, just perfectly usable 
compost. It still has a little bit of gravel and stuff in it, but I'm not a purist when it comes to my dirt. <laughs> so, um, that's pretty nice. Alrighty, y'all, so that's how I go about it. And you can actually see you, the Spice Girls are getting right to it. <laughs> just got a whistle at them, but they, they know they just go right for it. And I actually uh, sprinkle in some soaked uh, red wheat seeds. Um, they're raw, they haven't been roasted or anything, and that way they'll actually sprout, because the chickens love the sprouted um, wheat seeds. Gives them higher protein content and everything too. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. I do love hearing from y'all. Oh, that's a lovely breeze. Knocks the mosquitoes off. <laughs> But um, I'm going to finish up this video with just some nice footage of them playing in the dirt pile. Uh, but please subscribe, do all that good stuff. Y'all have watched YouTube videos before. You know how it goes if you like doing. If you like what you're watching, let me know. <laughs> but I will see y'all next time, guys. Bye. doing farm cat hmm? <laughs> get off of my shade cloth no wonder it's getting tears in it what you doing farm cat oh being pretty is what you're doing <coughs> oh <laughs> you fell over hey pretty girl What you doing, mischievous little thing? What you doing, chicken birds?
What you doing now, Meg? Yeah, good girl. 